Hi everyone. Today we're going to be creating a demonstration of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures and we're going to be using Scratch to create this demonstration. And hey, if you're new to coding or you need a refresher, uh, check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube, uh, which will get you up to speed pretty quickly on coding with Scratch. And I suggest that you follow me and perhaps subscribe because, because I'll be posting videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's get started. So I'm at Scratch now, scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click the Create button because we're creating a brand new project today. Um, if a tutorial pops up, you can exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. And you can also say goodbye to the cats. So I'm going to click on the garbage can there. Goodbye, cats. Hey, we're making uh, water molecules today. And unfortunately, there isn't a water molecule sprite in Scratch. So we're going to have to draw one ourselves today. And I don't usually do a lot of drawing in Scratch, but I'm going to show you today how to make your own water molecule. So look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go way down here and I'm going to click on choose a sprite but instead of choosing that one I'm going to go to the paintbrush right there not the backdrops I'm going to go to the sprites and click on the paintbrush because I'm going to be creating my own sprite today so here I am I'm going to draw a water molecule today so first thing I'm going to do I'm going to choose the right color and I'm going to choose blue because you know water is blue so I'm going to get a blue color now I'm going to click on the circle button right there circle and I'm going to draw a circle as best I can okay hey try not to make it too oval shaped it won't really bounce well I know it's not going to be perfect, but try to get as perfect a circle as possible. You'll also notice that there's this little plus sign in the middle of my circle. What's well, the middle of the circle that I just drew? There's the middle of the page there, the, the black one right there. So I'm going to align them so they're just perfectly even right there. Nicely aligned. Nice. So there's my oxygen molecule um, and in water there's two smaller hydrogen molecules so I'm gonna get uh, two more molecules but there's a trick here or two more atoms let me show you the trick first of all I'm gonna get a different color perhaps a nice uh, uh, red color something like that that's good doesn't matter what colors you make I'm gonna choose blue and red but you can choose your own colors uh, I'm gonna make another circle but watch what I'm gonna do I have a little trick here so look I'm gonna make a small red circle maybe about that big that's my hydrogen atom right there now look what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on the arrow button right there so the arrow now I'm gonna click on this once again and hit the copy and paste so now I've got two circles that are identical so I'm going to put one on the edge right there and the other one on the edge maybe right there. So now look, I've just drawn very quickly a water molecule. So there's my one big oxygen atom and my two smaller hydrogen atoms, H2O, that makes water. So there's that. Now we've got to start coding it, but man, oh man, it's way too big. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the size button right there and I'm going to make it smaller. Right now it's 100%, way too big. I'm going to try 20%. You'll have to see it depending on what yours is like. I'm going to make mine even a bit smaller. Depends how big you drew yours. You might have to change the size to different than mine. So I made mine 15%. Now I'm going to code it so that it's like these ones. They're just kind of bouncing all around. And if they hit the edge, they're going to bounce off the edge. So look how I do that. I'm going to get the green flag. When the green flag is clicked, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so you can see it here at home or at school, wherever you happen to be doing this. When the green flag is clicked, move 10 steps um, and if on edge bounce, if it hits the edge bounce. So look, the if on edge is down lower in the motion. If on edge bounce. And then I'm going to put a forever loop around it. So forever right there. So move 10 steps, if on edge, bounce. Ready? Green flag and go. Well, two problems. First of all, it's going way too fast. And second of all, I don't like that it's just bouncing back and forth. It doesn't look really um, realistic. That's not really how a water molecule would move. So let me just pause it for a minute. Instead of 10 steps, I'm going to make it 5 steps. And let's see how that looks. Not bad. Okay, good. So five steps. And now I'm going to make it change direction at the beginning so it's not going back and forth. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the motion and I'm going to have it turn 15 degrees. It doesn't matter how many degrees as long as it's turning so it's not going back and forth. Okay, ready? Green flag and go. It's going to turn 15 degrees and then move five steps to start bouncing. Perfect. So now it's bouncing all over the place kind of in a random way. Wonderful. So I'm going to stop it. So there's my first water molecule sprites pretty much coated. Now look what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to put my mouse pointer on the sprite. Don't hit the garbage can, but right over here, I'm going to put two fingers on the touchpad and duplicate it. And now I'm going to duplicate it again. And again, I'm going to get five of them just to start. You could have as many as you want, 20 or 30, but I'm going to start with five right there. So I've made five water molecules and they're all turning 15 degrees, moving five steps. And if on edge bounce, and uh, if you want to pause here for a moment, you can catch up and continue on if you like. And I'm just going to stop for a second and let you catch up. All right, hope that's going well for you. Hey, you'll notice when I hit the green flag, something funny happens. Look, I'm going to hit the green flag and watch the water molecules. They're all kind of going in the same direction. That's because they're all starting at 15 degrees. That looks kind of weird. It doesn't look very realistic at all. So I want to get them all going in a random direction from a random place. So look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pause for a second. Uh, at the beginning, I don't want them all to start where they left off. So I'm going to have them go to a random position. So go to a random spot somewhere when a green flag is clicked, go somewhere on a random page um, but also don't turn 15 degrees I want them all to turn at different degrees so look what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the operators button the green one right there I'm gonna grab this random one this random command put it right there now instead of turning 15 degrees I want it to turn a turn at degrees uh, in a full circle and I don't know if anybody's a snowboarder or a skateboarder and you know how many degrees there are in a full circle but it's 360 so choose a degrees between 1 and 360 and then move five steps on if on edge bounce ready green flag and go oh well that one is perfect look that I coded for this one but now I gotta go back and code all these others oh my gosh that's gonna take forever this one is coded just right but all those duplicates no look what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get rid of all these duplicates goodbye 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 here's the one I fixed uh, and that one is moving nice now so hey I got a trick you know in this one I don't have 50 or 100 different mo water molecules I only have one and what I've done is I've cloned it. I've cloned the one sprite really nice. Uh, um, I've cloned the one sprite 50 times and then got them moving all around the screen. I'm going to show you how to do cloning because it's a really powerful command. So look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pull this down. And when the green flag is clicked, make a clone of myself and repeat 30 times or 50 times or whatever you want to do. So look, make a clone of myself. Yeah, it's in the controls create a clone of myself that's gonna move that down and repeat I'm gonna do it 30 times repeat 30 times 30 create a clone of myself so look green flag repeat 30 times create a clone of myself over and over again so now look what I'm gonna do when I start as a clone so all these different clones when they start they're gonna to go to a random spot they're going to choose a, a random degrees from 1 to 360 and move five steps on if and if on edge bounce. Let's see how that looks. Ready? Green flag and go. Great. Look, they all spawned in different places. They're all moving different degrees. These look fantastic, except, except there's this one right there. That's the original one. That's not the clone. All of these are clones. There's the original one. I don't want, I don't want the original showing because it just sits right there. So look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stop for a minute. I'm going to hide the original. So I'm going to go to the looks button and I'm going to find hide. It's way down here in the looks. So when the green flag is clicked, hide uh, and then make 30 clones of myself. And then the clones can start moving to a random position. Let's see how this looks now. Ready? There, this one should hide. The rest of them will appear. Ready? Green flag and go. Oh man, they're all hiding. So hold on. Whenever you use a hide, you should use a show. So I'm going to grab the show. I want the clones to show themselves. Okay, ready? Green flag and go. Okay, good. So, I've made 30 clones. They're all starting at a random spot. And they're all turning a random degrees and moving all around the sc screen like a real uh, um, set of water molecules. So, hey, I'm going to let you try that. I'm just going to pause for a minute and let everybody catch up. And then uh, I'm going to show you the last part in a moment. All right, I hope you're having luck cloning your original water molecule. But hey, we're not quite done, almost there. I think I got one more thing to show you. Uh, let's look at my original project right here. Look, this is a homogenous mixture of water molecules. These are all simply water molecules. It's homogenous. There's only one kind of molecule in there, and they're all water molecules. But look what happens when I hit the space bar. 
There's a second kind of wa uh, molecule. These are contaminants. So now there's water molecules and contaminants. This is a heterogeneous mixture. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Space bar, homogeneous. Space bar, heterogeneous. And this is your task to make a homogeneous mixture. And when you hit the space bar, turn it into a heterogeneous mixture. So let me show you how you might want to do that. So I'm just going to go back to my scratch project right there. I'm just going to pause for a minute. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to this sprite here and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to put two fingers in a touchpad and duplicate this one. So now here's the second molecule, but I'm going to change this one up because this is a contaminant. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to costumes. I'm going to change the color a little bit. So I'm going to get the paint bucket. I'm going to get um, a different color to make it. I'm going to make the inside red. You can make it whatever you want. Um, maybe I'll make these smaller ones a different color too. Maybe um, a green or something like that, just so they, it stands out. There we go. So I've got my contaminant now. So this is my original one. That's water. This is a contaminant of some sort. Now we're going to code the contaminant to uh, appear when you hit the space bar. So I'm going to Go to the costumes and look at the trick I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate the costumes because here's costume one of the contaminant. I'm going to put two fingers in a touchpad and make a duplicate. So now there's two of them like that. Okay, so watch what this what I'm going to do. It's a little tricky. I'm going to go to costume one and I'm going to delete this. So I'm going to grab the eraser or the arrow and somehow delete it. Goodbye. Goodbye. And goodbye. So when the game uh, begins, you're going to see this blank one, this blank costume. So you're not going to actually see anything here. So green flag, look, here's the water molecules. The contaminant is there, but what you're seeing is the blank costume of the contaminant. So it's kind of hiding. So now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get the space bar. When the space key is pressed, when the space key is pressed, right there. Okay. When the space key is pressed, switch to the next costume and that's pretty much it next costume okay so green flag now we have the water molecules look when i hit the space bar the contaminant appears when i hit the space bar again it disappears space bar space bar and that's how you do this part uh one trick you might want to tell it at the beginning to go to costume one so that there's no confusion. So when the green, when I start as a clone, switch to costume one. That's the blank one, right? Costume one is blank. So start as a clone, switch to costume one. Let me just test it again. You're always testing in scratch. Great. Green flag, space bar, space bar. Last thing, and then we're done. You need to make a title. So when it's just um, this page, have it say, uh, uh, the text appear, homogenous mixture, something like that, homogenous. When the space bar is pressed, have this one appear, heterogeneous, and perhaps your teacher can write these on the blackboard. Homogenous, heterogeneous. And it's your task to put this text up there. You'll also notice that all of the molecules are going behind the text. They're not going in front of the text. And the way I coded it is that um, when the green flag is clicked for the text, that they should go to the front layer. I'm just going to show you how to do that really quickly once. I'm going to go to the sprites. I'm going to hit the paint bucket or paint sign. I'm going to click T for text. Choose a, a, a color for my text. Maybe I'll choose a nice, uh, I don't know, purple maybe, something like that. And um, I'm going to write the text in a font that I like. There's a whole bunch of different fonts. Maybe for this one I'll do marker. And I'll write homogenous. There we go. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger, homogenous. There, I'm just going to grab it and move it up here. And I'm going to code it to go to the front layer. So when the green flag is clicked, go to the front layer in front of the molecules. So it looks, it's going to go scroll way down, go to the front layer. Nice. Stop and go. Okay, the molecules are behind the text. Um, now for this text, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go to costumes of the homogenous text. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to delete homogenous and write down heterogeneous, heterogeneous right there. And I'm going to center that perfectly. So now that's the second costume. Costume one is homogenous. Costume two is heterogeneous. So green flag, go to the front layer, switch to costume one which is uh, homogenous, 
and then space bar whenever the space bar is clicked just go to the next costume next costume right there so it should start off saying homogenous which it does when I hit the space bar the um, contaminant is gonna appear and it says heterogeneous and I'm done so I'm going to leave that to you to finish coding, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that one, and I look forward to seeing you at our next lesson, which I think you're going to like a lot. It's going to be really cool. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.